There were a number of things that I remember about the casting process. One, obviously George Clooney, uh, is someone who I had kept under contract, like four one-year contracts, and he kept doing pilots and TV shows for us. He did an arc on Sisters, and um, George was a good friend, and we became very close, and I just believed this guy was a star. You know, he was great looking, he was unbelievably charming, he had a great sense of humor, and, you know, up until ER, he'd been on like eight failed series, but I said, this guy's got it, you know? Once again, it's where my acting uh, abilities came in. I said, this guy's got it. There's something about him that's so appealing. Anyway, George stayed on Warner's all that time. There were two scripts that I sent over to George. One was ER, and the other was this series about two lawyers in San Francisco. And by the way, it was a much bigger part. I said, George, read these two. One had been already picked up, which is ER, but he didn't know it. The other, if George wanted to do it, NBC would do it. That was sort of the deal. I said, okay. So he read the, the two and he said, I want to do the doctor show. I said, really? It's like a quarter of the size. Because if you remember, they were really six or seven equal parts. The other one was like all George, you know? He said, no, this script is fabulous. I want to do Dr. Ross. I want to do that. John Wells wasn't that familiar with George Clooney. He didn't really know who he was. George didn't have to read for him, but he had to go meet him. So it wasn't like an automatic, okay, George Clooney gets the role. Anyway, they met, they, had it, they hit it off right away, and, and, and the rest is history. You know, uh, you know, George was always great, always the most cooperative, never renegotiated his deal, played out his deal because he knew he was beginning to uh, become a movie star. You know, he played that out. The other part that was, I, I still remember Noah Wiley's reading, you know, as the insecure young intern. There were like four or five guys, and he came in, and he just wowed us. He was the guy. Um, and Eric LaSalle was also another interesting story, was doing another pilot for us. We were having trouble casting that role. We went over to NBC with an actor... Um, who was a decent actor, and I won't remember, I won't, I won't uh, mention his name, I do remember what it was. You know, and, and we, had ca we had the whole thing cast, and Don O'Meyer and I were, you know, and everybody was saying, oh yeah, he's fine, he's fine. Don O'Meyer and I looked at each other in the room, and, and to Don's credit, he said, wait a minute, you know, I'm not sure, and I could tell Les isn't sure this is the guy. So I, I said, you're right. I'm not sure this is the guy. We have a guy shooting another show for us. He's shooting a pilot, or it's a series at the time that's up in Oregon, named Eric LaSalle, but he won't be available for like two weeks or whatever. Anyway, we juggled the schedule. To Don's credit, you know, it was like, like $20,000 more. We split the cost of the delay for that role and waited for Eric LaSalle, you know, which made a huge difference, you know. The only other thing about casting in that, Juliana Margulies was a guest star. At the end of the pilot, she was supposed to have committed suicide. Now, you talk about testing, we changed the ending slightly, so she goes into the ICU but doesn't die. You know, she had the, the relationship with Dr. Ross, so she came back just because she was so good in the pilot. 